So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone 10R on iOS 15. How does it run? Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one and see how fast this thing can turn on. Now we did do in the how does it run series the other iPhones, but many people have been requesting the iPhone 10R with its Apple A12 Bionic chipset, three gigabytes of RAM and still a very popular option amongst people as it's still for sale on apple.com many people are still picking up this phone to this day but will it be running great on 15 this will be a good preliminary video to see how it will do now we've seen that i was a little bit late on the timer but around 22 to 23 seconds to turn on so that's fairly respectable for the iphone 10r considering this is beta 1 the betas are not as slow as they used to be on the initial betas back in the day they're getting a lot better these days and i think by the time the public releases and we get more of these updates they're gonna get even better and even right now you're not gonna be like crashing too much even on beta one right now but still i would recommend waiting a little bit unless this, if this is your main phone all right guys so let's go ahead and confirm the software you can see ios 15 developer beta this is the first beta for the iphone 10r it came in at 5.55 gigabytes so definitely quite a bit of space there to download this one but confirming we are on 15 right now you can see ios 15 a12 bionic is clocked in at 2.49 gigahertz again three gigabytes of ram we'll run a geekbench 5 later on i also want to go ahead and show you my battery health to give you a little more context on this phone right here so if we go to battery health you'll see let me go go over here battery health you'll see 96 percent battery health on this phone so that's where we stand right now at the beginning of this video we're around 86 percent i'll give you an update towards the end where we end on battery life as well so as i've been doing with the whole series of the iphone ios 15 how does it run i want to give you an idea of how it actually performs on the day-to-day -day performance you kind of see if there's any lag so starting in the app library you'll see as we go through not seeing anything choppy whatsoever if i cancel here We'll go through the pages just to kind of see if we get anything happening with the 10R. Got one page right there. Let me go ahead and add another page. I did hide one of these pages, so I'll go ahead and add that one. And you'll see right there, no major choppiness. Let's go ahead and add another one. We'll tap this down here. We'll add that one. You'll see even in the wiggle mode, nothing really going wrong here. So very good performance there. If we pull this down, You'll see no choppiness on that front. Going into the haptic presses, no choppiness here either. So getting very good performance here for beta one. Tap the flashlight, everything's working good. We'll tap one of these icons, everything working good. So the main system itself looking to run pretty darn good here in terms of just everyday performance, even the gestures, very good overall. No major issues here are lag. Now, the only reason I cover this is because this is stuff that might lag up on initial betas and I'm not seeing it happen here for iPhone XR, pulling down control center. No major issues on that either. Going ahead and unlocking it with face ID. Very good. Everything running pretty flawlessly here on the first beta. This is good news. This is good news for the future betas that are gonna come after this and make this even better down the line. Okay guys, let's go ahead and open up some applications and just see how it performs here when doing that task. And you'll see very good on that front. We'll go to Best Buy here. We're just kind of testing the speed, seeing if it's getting any slower here. Uh, we definitely wanna keep it up to par, up to speed, like it's been doing in the past. I've been recommending the 10R in multiple videos already and I wanna make sure that it's staying as that recommendation as we're heading in here to iOS 15 and everything running like a champ. This is such good performance for the age of this phone coming out in 2018. This is one of the reasons why the iPhone does seem to be an awesome choice many times just because as it ages, it continues to run beautifully. You can see even when not 100% capacity, even as your battery capacity goes on, on something like the 10R, it still tends to perform very well now. Some applications will crash because they're not developed properly for iOS 15 just yet. They haven't been updated because we're only in beta. It's not really necessary at this point, like you've seen right there with that one. But most of the things will run just fine here on the beta. So if we go ahead and play right here. You'll see a lot of games will run. And the iPhone 10R not getting super warm under my usage right now either. I'm always trying to test to see is the body of the phone getting hot. And it's definitely not here. 
even PUBG, I'm not gonna load the entire game, but PUBG did load up just fine in my preliminary testing before creating this video right here. So that's also a very good sign for those of you who like to game and you might wanna download this beta as we get further along into the beta and you don't wanna wait all the way till the fall. This is gonna be a good sign for you if you're into gaming. We're gonna go over here to Temple Run and you'll see that this will pop open very fast as well. And that's good. We'll go over here to Crossy Road, another smaller lightweight game. You'll see this thing will open up. So I haven't had many major crashes with a lot of applications. So most of your stuff will probably run just fine. Even video editing is still strong here in iOS 15. You can see no lag whatsoever in iMovie. Definitely very good there. We'll go to Geekbench and look at the gesture, just buttery smooth here for the iPhone XR. So very nice performance here beta one on the applications. All right, so we went through the applications. Let's see if we just get any app reloads and you'll see even as I'm going in these really fast. Oh, we had a little bit of a transition delay right there. Not bad though. Again, I'm flying through these. That one didn't open initially, so we'll skip out of there. We'll go to Groupon. You'll see pausing these apps pretty good and returning to baseline where we were very good as well. Amazon, did Amazon reload? Maybe a few things in there, but very good. Instagram was right where it was. So take a look at that performance when going back through the applications, even here on beta one, doing very good. And even the new features like the new translate application is working just fine here. FaceTime works just fine as well for being a first beta. I've tried it out already. Very good in that respect as well. The focus features that came in here also working very well. So if you click the three dot menu, go to settings, nothing really a problem here. Again, this is a lot of lightweight refinements here in 15, so it's not gonna be something that really stresses the phone, I feel like, and that's why a lot of these iPhones are running 15 pretty great, in my opinion. So now that we've done the applications, let's go ahead and run a Geekbench 5 test, and I'll be back with the final results of this. Well, 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 would you look at this right here. 1114 single core, 2595 multi-core. Now the average for the iPhone 10R is 1105. We outdid that here by about nine points, but look at this multi-core, almost 500 points better on iOS 15 for a first beta, that's pretty incredible. We're gonna go ahead here now and run a wildlife and I'll be back when wildlife is done Put the final benchmarks here to see how much different it is when it comes to the graphics and stuff like that. Okay, and our final 3D Mark benchmarks are in and you can see not so great here, overall score 2889 and then we do have 17.3 FPS we did go down 1% in the battery life and you'll see only 1% better for the iPhone XR. And my score was 44% better from other devices, but overall not too impressive there for 3D Mark, but a pretty good Geekbench 5 score. So let's quickly just check out a couple other things. How about Safari? How does it run here when opening up or websites here? And you'll see very good here. No major performance. If you wanna learn more about the new iMac, you could definitely do that. You could see very good overall browsing performance on this one. And then how about one more site? How about wikipedia.org? You can see right there, pretty good. So overall the browsing is just fine here. We'll go into the camera, see how that performs and opens up. We'll take a photo. Sometimes the camera crashes on betas and doesn't look like we're gonna get a major issue here, even going through the video. We'll hit the video. Also performing very good here. You could take a photo when in the video, that worked as well. How about portrait modes? Sometimes these lag up a little bit as well in the beta. You'll see right there, pretty good. Panoramic works, everything in the camera looking to work just smooth and just fine, which is a good thing because you don't want to download a beta and you can't take photos no more. So you can see right there, looking pretty good overall. And then, yeah, so very good there on just those basic tasks as well, like Safari and camera. All right, guys, so wrapping it up, iPhone XR Beta 1. Let's see how much battery we had at the end, 79. So we dropped from around 86 to 79, 7%. I would say that's not super bad considering how much benchmarks we did, how many applications we opened. It's starting to get a little warm, but it's far from toasty. I would say Beta 1's looking pretty strong here for the iPhone XR, but it's gonna be better. It's gonna be draining a little bit less battery as we get more beta. So I still would pause and wait just a little bit, but this is pretty impressive for our first beta. And if you're planning on getting the XR or keeping it well past the next year or two, 
it's gonna be just fine of a phone if you can live with the fact that you only have a single camera and you don't have a triple camera like right here i think you'll be very fine with the iphone 10r is one of my favorite in the battery life and it seems to be doing okay here on beta one in that respect as well if you found this video helpful entertaining and informing click that thumbs up for me and if you like this one you might like this one as well subscribe if you haven't already nick here be sure to be well i will catch you all in the next episode and peace